What are we doing? We're, we're shifting over, right? So what should you be? On the fucking ball. Let's go. It's not second down. <laughs> It wasn't first and goal from the 20. It's second down now. This is second down. I clocked it. Now it's third. Wake up. Third down. He clocked it. My fault. I got to wake up. I apologize. I screw Tell me to go screw myself. You're right. We all, we all made mistakes. Push up. Wake the fuck up. I screwed up. I'm not fucking around. like J.J. Watt and Brian Cushing, it's really just another week. But for players at the bottom of the depth chart, this week is everything. There we go. In a few days, the roster will be cut from 75 to a final 53. Everyone is looking for inspiration. At uh, 7.55, ready to go, okay? All right, guys, we've got a really uh, special guest here today. She's a world champion, women's good. soccer player. For me, being at the World Cup, we had a lot of doubters in the beginning, but it's not how you start, it's how you finish, and uh, it was just an incredible run, and I wish you guys all the best. Thanks for having me out. <laughs> so I think uh, uh, since you're here, since you're here, I think we... Have a little competition for you. So, how about uh, how about Vince, Mr. Wilfork? Are you loose, Vince? Yeah, hey, I'm always loose. All right, here we go. <laughs> <laughs> I'm always loose. You going first? Ladies first. <laughs> pressure, pressure. Ready? <laughs>
show to me. Thank you. It's a pleasure. It's a pleasure. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Yeah. All right, that's it. So over. I just want to say hi. I just want to just say what's up. Hey, Carl, I'm a big fan. Yeah, who, who, uh, me, I'm me, a big I, fan. DeAndre Hopkins. Too late. Too late. Thanks, Carl. I appreciate it. What are y'all doing now? Like, uh, we've got one more game with the Houston team here. Bye, bye Carly. In Chicago. And then uh, take care. Good luck. Yes. <laughs> I watched it, man. She scored three goals, three goals man. Again, the one from the half Cecil, field. Cecil, I'm not going to lie. She looked me in the eye, Cecil. Cecil, she looked me in the eye, brother. <laughs> now, I don't, I don't know what that means, brother, but, hey, we had eye contact, man. Pretty obvious that Vince Wilfork's first training camp as a Texan has been a kick. Not so for rookie defensive lineman Christian Covington, number 95, who's just hoping he doesn't get the boot. I just feel like I've been playing a little tentative when it came to this. Yeah, you got it in there. Why the lose? Yeah. What do you got to lose? Right? Nothing. 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 Every single day, go out there and be you. Play you. You're a great player. Let it fly. Precise. 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 Covington, number 95, he got knocked back. He got pushed back. It happened too many times. He'll come in this week, and you'll coach him on those things, and he'll oh, yeah. really work to get better. He'll really put his nose to the grindstone and try to get better there. Yeah. Luckily, Covington has the tools to make the team. And, of course, he can read the writing on the wall. You just try to, like, find the simple things to take your mind off football. I'm a fan of, like, all, day, all books, really. Me with, like, C.S. Lewis... That's just me trying to strengthen my faith. For me, it's, it's more of a, it's just a re recreational thing. I never really liked reading my textbooks in college. I just liked all my just my leisure time with reading. Any chance I could get with a, you know, a good book in my hand, I'd be good. I'd be set. All right, this is a big week. So today is a lot about the corrections from the game. Then we'll watch the film this afternoon and tonight. Okay, let's get this right. First up the field. Set. Go. <laughs> let's go to work, boys. Let's go to work. <laughs> Just go to the ball. Oh, what are we doing? Get this shit moving. Go. go. Let's go. Now you got to get a good start now. Go. 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 and clean there. Elbows tight. Look it into the catch. Out of baby. It's a place for everybody. Mine may not be here, yours may not be here, but it's a place for everybody. Should you good enough? You both good enough. You put it on tape. That chip fall with it may feel. Sorry, I can't wait. You know you ain't got no control of me. You can't control you like you said. Yeah. Fuck out of here. All right. Appreciate it. When I got cut going into my second year, it took a lot out of me. Um, you know, I stopped eating at one point. Uh, you know, I cried. You know, I, I mean, just because I love the game, man, like, you know, that's my life. It's that time of the year again where, you know, it gets close to training camp in and just kind of wonder, you know, how is it going to pan out. 
that's why I'm here to stay. So I'm not, I won't be mad at myself if I gave it my all and I get to go. You're in the locker room. You have relationships with all those guys. But at the end of the day, you're competing for, you know, a spot. You look at guys next to you, left and right, and they don't say it, but everybody kind of knows that something's coming. Like, if I mess up, then it might be the end of the world. At this point in time, it's a nervous wreck. You know, you have one day, and you're not here the next day. We do understand that there, there is an urgency to, you know, go out there and perform because this is the most unstable job that you could possibly have. Everybody in this league, you know, they're playing this game because of the fact that they love this game. But sometimes your pure love of the game isn't going to be enough. You come to work and you don't see certain people, teammates, leaving or vanishing or the reaper or whatever they may call it. It's intense, man. That's when reality sets in. They got to get it down from 75 to 53, so it's going to be moving real fast these next couple of days. Hey, simple concept today, right? Just go finish. Every rep you're in there, you finish. Right or wrong, good or bad, finish the rep. Okay? And see how that goes, okay? I know you like Courtney Brown. For the immediate, this is what I right. yeah I, I agree that for the immediate, and and, I, and let me tell you the jury's still out for me. I'm not even arguing with you. Mm -hmm. I'm just saying Courtney Brown. I know he's made some plays, but it's never been good enough. I think we've seen the best of Courtney Brown. Mm -hmm. Of course, we'll we'll yes, yes. And just so you know, I met with the, with the scouts. They're split down the middle. Mm -hmm. Courtney Brown's got to go and do something again in this game yeah. to make that worth the risk. Worth the risk. Translation, is he worth a roster spot? Receiver EZ Wachaku has been cut by the Texans each of the past two seasons. He knows that this week, every snap, every route, every move matters. It's the worst feeling when you have a bad practice, like when you begin the practice, and then like... That's all the boss you're going to get, so you know what I mean? There's just not enough camp left to overcome a bad practice. Free agent Charles James, number 31, the man in the style of socks, feels the pressure too. Ah, I gotta make that play. That shit. We've talked to you guys over and over about competition. I've, we've told you that within this roster, you're going to have to earn your job every single week in how you prepare, how you perform, play your ass off for your future in this organization, okay, and for opportunities outside of this organization. Put good shit on tape, and good things will end up happening for you. I promise you. <laughs> No one's worked harder than two-time All-Pro running back Arian Foster, who spent nearly all of training camp rehabbing after groin surgery. It's just disheartening because, you know, I put in so much effort this offseason, and um, I was actually in the best shape of my life. I I'll still be able to salvage a season out of it. It's not going to be I'm going to come back for two games. Like, I'll be able to play and help, you know, contribute. You okay there? Good. Shit happens, so you just gotta roll with it. There you go. Some belly button up and in. When Foster will return to the field is uncertain. But come opening day, Jadevian Clowney, the NFL's number one draft pick of a year ago, will play. 
I just hope clarity can come through, man. 90 and 99. You ain't fucking blocking those guys. Because this is why, right? Mm -hmm. He's disrupting the shit out of it here, and we can't touch this guy when he comes up and under. I mean, this is like a snapshot of what you're hoping our defense can be. Clowney, who's frickin' mm -hmm. mm -hmm. The guy looks pretty fucking good, mm -hmm. no, I mean, I... Mm -hmm. To play in the season opener, rookie Lyndon Trail will have to make the team. And right now, it doesn't even look like he'll make the last preseason game. Lyndon Trail looks like he has an acute quad tendon strain. So I would tell you he's probably very iffy he's for Thursday very, night. very iffy for Thursday. Trail, I hope you get healthy. We need to get back. Okay, I'm telling you, you need to do everything in your power to get back in there and be out there on Thursday to help us win a game. Okay? you got to take care of your body. Those of you guys that aren't playing in the game, let's support the ones that are. Be Matt, we need you back. We need everybody back. JD, that includes you. So whatever we got to do to start getting in the training room, stealing hours in there, that's what we have to do. Because nothing more important than winning. You got him, Coach? Yeah. Coach Nasty. All right. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. <laughs> On three. One, two, three. Go. <laughs> go. Go get a treatment room. Mm. Well, good evening, beautiful. Hey, sexy. How you doing? <laughs> You miss me, man? Yes, I do. You better. You ain't got no choice. Where'd Jay go? Right here. So, man, mommy trying to figure out what you're trying to do. Do you want to do jazz or tap? What are you doing, jazz? Uh, I think there's a lot of swing dancing going on. How are you supposed to know what they're going to do in jazz? <laughs> go ahead, say the prayer. The trainers were right. Trail's quad hasn't healed in time. He won't even travel to the last preseason game in Dallas. to the fourth preseason game. Jobs will be won and lost tonight. Bill Bryant said the other day, up to 10 spots still open and available. How you doing? I'm doing good. I'm good. So, um, we're going to play a lot of young guys tonight, so I don't know if we're not going to see any of our guys. I'm going to try to run it a lot, so try to get out of here and help me. I don't know if the numbers are going to allow him to make this team, but he is beloved by his teammates. I was sitting there telling my mama yesterday, I'm telling her where, where I was last year, and where I was this year, like where I'm at this year, no matter, either way it goes, you know what I'm saying, like, like years away from where I was last year, you will be fine, brother, trust me, you'll be
Here's Courtney Brown's training camp in a nutshell. Two steps up, four steps back. Courtney, you're... Courtney, get Courtney Brown off the field, Max. Somebody tell him he's only on in sub right now. Courtney! Courtney, get off the field! Courtney! Courtney! You're on in sub, Courtney! Why the fuck are you down there? Be right here! Right here with the sub! Wake the fuck up! For someone who's been cut six times before, Brown isn't doing himself any favors. Time to figure things out. And it looks as though the bookworm Christian Covington has. Number 95 plays as if he's been reading the Cowboys playbook. The rookie out of Rice has made some plays tonight, Spencer, and another one there for Christian Covington. Fourth and one. It looks like it's a little bit shorter than one. The Cowboys are going to go. Uh, back in the blast by rookie Christian Covington. Nice move. Fights off the block of John Wetzel. And he's right there to make the tackle on Gus McGovern. That's it. Get it back on down. You see how much fucking fun everybody's having? Oh, come on. It's not, then don't tap out. We don't have enough guys to tap out. Okay? They all need you. Listen to them. We don't have time to do this. Forget tap out. It's time to step up. Enter number 22, Chris Polk. Running. Spin move across the fifth team. Nice piece of work there by Polk. A good night here for Chris Polk. He's going to go a long way putting him on the run. Savage gets the snap. Where's the left? Tom tops it up. Oh, my Polk is up to five. He's good. Touchdown. He's good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Beautifully designed play for the TD, the Chris Polk. Bang, bang, kicking the trip, gets in the end zone, and yet again. Nobody has to spell it out. Polk clearly looks roster worthy. We're kicking the ass right now. They ain't got a point. We're kicking the ass, honey. We've hit the half, and it's 7 up in Houston at Dallas. Just the way we like it. It's not me! It's not me, man! Shut up, baby! Keep it up! Shut up, 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 to make the roster, some of these guys will never put pads on again. It's the last dance. The final 30 minutes of preseason. Everyone wants to look their best. 
While Brown seems to have a knack for big plays, easy watch a coup's night is hit or miss. The cornerback Charles James, number 31, what hits their arm aren't nearly big enough. Charles James with the coverage. Well, the first one was the third and three. But they just ran a little hook out on you and let the guy body up because you backed up the seven yard completion. Yeah, but I, 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 I mean, I'm there. I gotta make a fucking play. James is just five foot nine, which makes playing cornerback very hard. <laughs> And there's the clock with Johnson, running to the right side. So Johnson has a little seal across the 15, the 10, the 5, and a good touchdown. That fool is good deal. season finale to Dallas 21 to 14. There's talent in this organization that'll make a cut down to 53 very very difficult and there have been years where that's not been the case. So ultimately we got to cut 21 guys. This is who I want to call 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. One of these guys will represent 21. Okay, one of these two, but we're not moving on that today, so don't worry about that. You can have him go down and get uh, Corey Moore. with the Texans. Coach O'Brien needs to see it. One plus one. started off pretty decent you know I think as time went on it kind of leveled off you know and I think moving forward for you my, my advice and you can take it or leave it but my advice to you would be 
all right, I'm going to really strive to take the things that I learned here and really try to be a more consistent guy day in and day out. Because I think if you can get to that point in your head, you have a chance because you've got physical skills. But in order to, to, to get to where you need to, where you want to get to, it's got to keep going this way. It, can never, it can't be like this. You know what I mean? It can't be up and down. Yes. But I think that you have a future, okay? And I think that if you put your mind to it and say, I'm going to do this and take the things you learned, you never know. You may end up back here or you may end up somewhere else. Like, just remember what you learned here and try to try to improve every day. Okay? okay? Hey, look, don't look at me. Don't look, don't look at me, Glenn. Hey, Courtney, dead west at the Texans. Hey, I need you to come over to the same. Three sacks and a defensive touchdown this preseason give Courtney Brown hope of making the team. But having been cut six times since 2012 gives him an uneasy feeling. Hey, man. Have a seat, bro. How you, uh... How you hanging with this? Not good. So, so what I will tell you, Courtney, is this, man. I, I, I mean, you, you put it out there this year, okay? I know that this is infinitely more difficult than anybody can understand because of how much you put into it and how many times you've been sitting in this seat and in this situation. But the only thing I can do is try to encourage you, man, because you did a, you did a good job this, this summer. You did. It, it was it good enough for this situation? No, but that doesn't mean it is not going to be for another situation, okay? That's what I would tell you. Okay, and I, and I know it's disappointing, and I know you you know you, you fought your ass off, and I commend you for that, and, and and applaud you for that, and I just try to encourage you to keep keep your head up. Okay, all right, bro, I appreciate you, man. You need something, you let me know. Okay. It's a very different profession than any normal profession out there. It's one that requires mental toughness, competitiveness, like every every single day you got to bring it. How did you feel you did in training camp? Um, I felt from like from day one, I felt like I was improving. You know, yeah. since you know, there's a couple things I felt like I could have definitely been you know getting better on since rookie camp. But, uh, you know, I felt like I was progressing with the positions I was playing. Yeah. From day one, what I've seen with you is that you're an extremely hard worker and you have a really good skill set for what we're trying to do, and that's why you made it. I want to say thank you. And, yeah. I mean, the, I mean, I just know right, I know right now the real work is the, the real work now begins. So. Yeah, it's ahead of you, but, but you've, you've earned the right to be here. All right, man. Mm -hmm. Good. Appreciate you coming out. Appreciate you, Coach. I'll see you uh, Monday, okay? Yes, Hey, easy, dead west of the Texans. Hey, Coach O'Brien would like to see you in his office if you can come over to the stadium. All right, see you soon. It's crazy, like, you've been playing with these guys for so long. I don't know, like, when you get the call, you try to stay positive, but when the dog gets on the phone, it's usually never a good thing. Hey, easy. Come on in, man. How you doing? Good. Have a seat. We're going to release you easy. You know, this was 
it was a very competitive position, you know, and I think you, you, in the time that we've worked with you, you've really improved. You know, you really have. To the level of, of what I'm looking for, probably not. I'm going to go with some other players right now. I think that in the end, easy, your work ethic and your personality and your demeanor and your mentality is a fit for us. But your route running, it's a little bit more for a different type of offensive system. You know, they're looking for a guy that's just a freaking straight line speed guy that's going to run, you know, go route, post route, slant route. But for me, I've, I've got to get a guy that can, you know, run the gamut of routes, all of them, a little bit better than you. And that's that's really what it came down to for me. Yeah, I appreciate everything, though. Um, I was hoping it would work out, but I mean... It was a very difficult decision. All these decisions are hard. Not that that makes you feel any better, but you worked your ass off. And I think you, you still have a future. I really do. I wouldn't give this thing up. So, tough decision, and, and I know you, you, you don't agree with it, but, you know, it's just kind of the nature of the deal. That's the direction I went. Right. Okay. Any any questions? No. no. Okay. No questions, but... All right, man. Well, I appreciate all your work, Easy. I really do. I appreciate you. Okay, man. I think Rick's going to grab you here after me. Okay. Yep. Devastated, I think, would be a good word. I thought it would go in a different way, but it didn't. I've stayed here for the past three years, so being with them you know, for so long and making relationships it's become family that would be the thing I'm going to miss the most but I laid it all out on the field so no regrets I ain't safe until we play Kansas State I won't go to make it and even me and she still ain't safe I know how this shit go you never say. You never say. It really is a dead heat between Paul and James. <laughs> I think that's for James. I'm yeah. getting more James now just because of that special teams. He does add some juice to special teams, although, like you said, maybe some of that lack of length will show up there, too. Mm -hmm. It's got more of a chance to show up on defense. He, he is a crooked twitch athlete, and I mean, I don't know. I, 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 my, I haven't seen. He he earned the right to be on the team. If he makes, if he's on, he's on, and he he'll go contribute hopefully. And, you know, the other guys just longer, better. The other guy's a better DB. The other guy's a better defensive back. We can't only keep fifty three. Yeah. So some guys that make, that that earn the right to be on the team may not make the team. The other thing about James is he's a more versatile player because he could play. I know it's. You know, it would be an emergency, but he could play running back. He has right. returned punts. Right, right. So if we trade roll, it all takes care of itself because James is on the team. Mm -hmm. Then we got to make that decision. Right. So, but right. I have until, what, 3 o'clock? Yeah. You know, every, every, every good point I make on Charles, you can make on roll. It's a dead heat. Let's go with the length. Exactly. Let's go with what, right. we've, what right. we've set out to do, yep. get faster but also get longer. No, I think it's a great plan. If it comes down to the two of them, it's roll. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I got you. Thanks. Running back Chris Polk has learned his fate, too. He shares the news with his first ever coach. Hey, what are you doing? Hi, red boy. It's official. Well, so you know what? God is good. They allowed you to be on this team, and you're going to show them that you deserve to be on this team. Every time you touch that ball, those are pins, you the bowling ball. And don't go down easy like a girl either. You better fall forward and bop. Next time they touch you, they'll be like, this for the hit. That's a given. You know that, huh? Listen, I'll be there next week, okay? Well, finally, that's where the fun begins this week. Mm. Bang, bang. Chicken and shrimp. Okay. <laughs> 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 what? Bang bang, bang 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 chicken and shrimp. She got the t shirts. <laughs> that is funny. <laughs> love you. I love you too.
Not every player's journey is a straight line from college to the pros. For undrafted free agents like Charles James, the road is often crooked. Hey, man. Hey, I, I, I heard back from the team. That there's not a deal to be made, man. Okay. So, and I, I think okay. I think we had the right thought process. I think the right thing to do is, <clears throat> is to cut Charles. But I just wanted you to know that I just heard back from him. We're good. Okay. Okay. Thanks, man. Yep. Yep. Hey, Charles. Yes, hey, it's Glenn Fife with Houston Texans. Okay. Hey, I need you to come in whenever you get a chance. Rick and OB want to see you. Okay. This, this is going to be a tough one because this kid, he gave us everything he had. Um, yeah. Yeah. This is truly one about timing and fit because at a different time he would have made a team, you know. Yeah. 
that's the ultimate. So we're going to release you, Charles, and it was, you know, obviously this thing came down to the wire here. You know, it was a very, very difficult decision because of really how you play, you know. Off the top, I'll tell you, we really like to try to get you back on the practice squad. I don't know if that'll be possible because somebody may come in there and, and, and grab you because you did play well. You know, you did play well. I think in the end, for me, what ended up happening was in the Dallas game, some of your, what I would call, deficiencies showed up, your lack of length. And so sometimes when you're in tight coverage, as the route gets down the field a little bit farther and you have to make a play, it's hard for you especially against a bigger receiver. So as we go into our division, we're, we're some of the teams that we have to play, we've got some really, you know, obviously top receivers, but also bigger guys that we're going to have to cover. So really, in the end, I went with the fact that, look, I think this guy's going to struggle as it relates to covering guys that we need to cover. I think on special teams, you did a great job, and I think that, that you, you showed up very well there, and that made it a very difficult decision. I think your energy, everything that you bring to the table, you know, really made it a difficult decision because of the work ethic that you bring and the toughness and all that. But in the end, we decided to go in a different direction, and that's some of the reasons why. Okay. So appreciate all your work. Hopefully Thanks. we can get you back to continue to work with you. The reason that we would do that is because we do see potentially a future here. And we also would have a guy there that if we, you know, if we needed to, we could bring up on game day, you know, down the road here during the season. So hopefully that works out. We can get you back here and keep working with you. Okay. All right. All right. Okay, man. Thanks, Charles. Appreciate, Appreciate it. Appreciate your Thanks. work, man. In the NFL, it doesn't get much tougher than final cuts. The teams are always looking for talent. And a day later, Courtney Brown is signed by the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, thanks in part to the tough love given him by linebacker coach Mike Vrabel. Oh, man, um, camp here was, was great. Coach Vrabel, he's a great man. He's a good coach. He's smart. You know, when I came here, he, 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 he taught me a lot more about the game than I really ever knew, you know, and... One of the biggest things that I'm going to take from him that he always told me was finish every play. Finish every play. I, I can hear him, you know, right now. And I'm just so thankful that Jersey. they gave me another opportunity to play football. And I'm just excited, man. <laughs> I'm excited. I'm really excited. That same day, receiver Easy Wachiku gets a call to play for the Miami Dolphins. Turns out keeping your bags packed and phone handy is good policy for players with style. Texan wanted to sign back to the practice squad, but of course I was weighing out my other options. My agent called me and he told me, uh, the Ravens want you down in Baltimore. You know, for me it was like, shoot man, I want to go start a fresh start, so, you know, I'm gone. You know, I've heard a lot of questions, do I feel like I should have made a team? Yes! Just to answer the question, yes! You know, it, it hurts, but at the same time, you gotta understand it's the nature of the business, and especially in my situation, that's it. You know, coming in as an undrafted free agent, shit, it's hard every day. Uh, my time here was good. I uh, wish I could have stayed longer. The fans here are incredible. Uh, they jumped on the happy sauce train early, and I'm still going to rock them when I get down to Baltimore because that's a part of me for life. What's going on? This is Rick Smith, man. How are you? I'm doing good, all right. I got these socks here that I was going to give you, man. I don't know what to do with these damn things, man. I guess I'm going to have to wear them myself. <laughs> <laughs> hey, man, I appreciate the opportunity y'all gave me to compete. Man, that's all I got to ask for. I appreciate it. Well, listen, go do you, okay? And I'm going to wish you well, and, and, uh, and we'll be watching, man, okay? Rosters aren't forever. Give it a smack towards me. Move it uh, on its line. NFL teams are always a work in progress. The Texans now have a team braised in the Houston heat. Good. Both tough. Both in the image of their head coach. And in the end, the only thing Bill O'Brien ever asked for was for his team to compete. He's got a roster to do at least that much. With a little luck. Maybe even more. The philosophy of our organization as it comes to the 53-man roster is that you have to work every day 
every single day to continue to earn your spot on the team. Every day. Every day we come in here, it's all about winning. We walk into the building and we say, how are we going to get better today to help the team get better? It's all about the team. When you get those 53 guys coming together, forming and bonding a team, you know, our brotherhood, that's what it's all about. The excitement as a veteran right now is more like a rookie wanting to get on the field. This is going to be a dream come true. I've been working for this my whole life, and it's, it's finally going to happen. That's a tough team. We're not going to back down anymore. We all the good who are playing for each other. And I think when you have a group of guys that are willing to do that, the sky's the limit. I believe we're a team full of guys who are going to work their ass off every single day with the belief that they will not be stopped. Every single day, you've got to show up in the building in the most competitive business in the world, the National Football League, and you've got to compete, you've got to be alert in the meetings, you've got to understand what we're trying to do, you've got to understand your role, and you've got to earn it every fucking day. Do you guys put together like a bloopers thing? Oh shit. Couple What the hell? Oh, it's for the next three weeks. Hot start. Super hot start. Super. <laughs> There we go. We're in. We're just going to act like this isn't awkward, okay? <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, that, that is nasty. Hey, Chase Bill, you ain't got to watch. Not ABC Family. Little little man, down by the river. Ah, oh, dude, freaking nah. We're going to take over the world. Oh, shit. Me? I got a booger. <laughs> no, you, no, please leave that there. Please leave it. Defense, defense, special team. We've got to communicate.
did some good things in the game, but you got to keep it going. It's a big week for you, okay? All right? Yes, sir. Keep coming. Keep coming. All right, sir? So I'm just going around to certain guys and telling them it's a big week. Lonnie, Kari, Lamb, Slade, Mumphrey, Charles James. Yeah, I'm keep coming this week. Outside because you're helping in the attack. Same thing. Mm-hmm. And all, all of the different ones, mm-hmm. special teams. Mm-hmm. Nope. Offensively, I should do that. Okay. Good, good, good. Good, good, good. 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 Charles James. Special teams, different okay. roles. I mean, that running back, I mean, it wasn't perfect, but, like, I was pretty good. <laughs> There's a guy with an angle. <laughs> For stars like J.J. Watt and Brian Cushing, it's really just another week. But for players at the bottom of the depth chart, this week is everything. There we go. In a few days, the roster will be cut from 75 to a final 53. Everyone is looking for inspiration. At uh, 7.55, ready to go, okay? All right, guys, we got a really... Uh... Special guest here today. Ooh. She's a world champion, women's him. soccer player. Carly Lloyd. Yeah. Yeah. Don't be intimidated. <laughs> <laughs> For me, being at the World Cup, we had a lot of doubters in the beginning, but it's not how you start, it's how you finish. And uh, it was just an incredible run, and I wish you guys all the best. Thanks for having me out. <laughs> So I think uh, uh, since you're here, yeah. since you're here, I think we have a little competition for you. So how about uh, how about Vince, Mr. Wilfork? Are you loose, Vince? Hey, yeah, I'm always loose. All right, here we go. <laughs> <laughs> I'm always loose. You going first? Ladies first. Pressure, pressure. Ready? <laughs> I'm a big fan. Yeah, I'm a big fan. DeAndre Hopkins. Too late. Too late. Thanks, Carly. I appreciate it. Well, what, what are y'all doing now? Like, uh, we've got one more game with the Houston team bye, here. Bye, bye Carly. In Chicago. And then uh, take care. Yeah. Good luck. Yes. <laughs> yes. Oh, that's she, I, 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 I watched it, man. She scored three goals, three goals man. In the game, the one from the half Cecil, Cecil, I'm not gonna lie. She looked me in the eye. Cecil. Cecil. She looked me in the eye, brother. <laughs> now I don't, I don't know what that means, brother. But hey, we had eye contact, man. 
pretty obvious that Vince Wilfork's first training camp as a Texan has been a kick. Not so for rookie defensive lineman Christian Covington, number 95, who's just hoping he doesn't get the boot. I just feel like I've been playing a little tentative when it came to this. Yeah. You got it in it. Why the lose? Yeah. What do you got to lose? Right? Nothing. Nothing. Every single day, go out there and be you. Play you. You're a great player. Just let it fly. It's a precise one. It's a precise one. It's a precise one. It's a precise one. Covington, number 95. He got knocked back. He got pushed back. Happened too many times. He'll come in this week, and you'll coach him on those things, and he'll oh, yeah. really work to get better. He'll really put his nose to the grindstone and try to get better there. Yeah. Luckily, Covington has the tools to make the team. And, of course, he can read the writing on the wall. You just try to, like, find the simple things to take your mind off the ball. I'm a fan of, like, all, de all books, really. Me with, like, C.S. Lewis, that's just me trying to strengthen my faith. For me, it's, it's more of a, it's just a re recreational thing. I never really liked reading my textbooks in college. I just liked all my, just my leisure time with reading. Any chance I could get with, a, you know, a good book in my hand, I'd be good. I'd be set. Alright, this is a big week. So today is a lot about the corrections from the game. Then we'll watch the film this afternoon and tonight. Okay, let's get this right. First up to fail. Set, go. <laughs> let's go to work, boys. Let's go to work. <laughs> Just go to the ball. Well, what are we doing? Get this shit moving. Come on, go. Let's go. Now you gotta get a good start now. Go, go, go. and clean there. Elbows tight. Look it into the catch. Out of baby. Yeah, it's a place for everybody. Mine may not be here, yours may not be here, but it's a place for everybody. Should you good enough? You both good enough. You put it on tape. That chips fall with it make you feel. Sorry, I can't wear it. You know, you ain't got no control of love, man. You can't control like you said. Get yeah. the fuck out of here now. Oh, appreciate it. When I got cut going into my second year, it took a lot out of me. Um, you know, I stopped eating at one point. Uh, you know, shit, I cried. You know, I, I mean, just because I love the game, man, like, you know, that's my life. It's that time of the year again where, you know, it gets close to training camp in and then you just kind of wonder, you know, how is it going to pan out. Hopefully I'm here to stay, but if not, I won't be mad at myself if I gave it my all and I get to go. You're in the locker room, you have relationships with all those guys, but at the end of the day, you're competing for, you know, a spot. You look at guys next to you, left and right, and they don't say it, but everybody kind of knows that something's coming. Like, if I mess up, then it might be the end of the world. At this point in time, it's a nervous wreck. You know, you're here one day, and you're not here the next day. We do understand that there, there is an urgency to, you know, go out there and perform because this is the most unstable job that you could possibly have. Everybody in this league, you know, they're playing this game because of the fact that they love this game. But sometimes your pure love of the game isn't going to be enough. When you come to work, you don't see certain people, teammates, leaving or vanishing or the reaper or whatever they may call it. It's intense, man. That's when reality sets in. They got to get it down from 75 to 53, so 
it's going to be moving real fast these next couple days. Hey, simple concept today, right? Just finish. Every rep you're in there, you finish. Right or wrong, good or bad, finish the rep. Okay? And see how that goes, okay? I know you like Courtney Brown for the immediate. This is what I, right. yeah, I, I agree that for the immediate. And, and, I, and let me tell you, the jury's still out for me. I'm not even arguing with you. I'm just saying... Courtney Brown, I know he's made some plays, but it's never been good enough. I think we've seen the best of Courtney Brown. Mm -hmm. Of course, we'll we'll yes, yes. And just so you know, I met with the, with the scouts. They're split down the middle. Mm -hmm. Courtney Brown's got to go and do something again in this game yeah. to make that worth the risk. Worth the risk. Translation: Is he worth a roster spot? Receiver EZ Wachuku has been cut by the Texans each of the past two seasons. He knows that this week, every snap, every route, every move matters. It's the worst feeling when you have a bad practice, like in the beginning of practice, and then like, that's all the boss you're going to get, so you know what I mean? There's just not enough camp left to overcome a bad practice. Free agent Charles James, number 31, the man in the style of socks, feels the pressure too. Ah, I gotta make that play. We've talked to you guys over and over about competition. I've, we've told you that within this roster, you're going to have to earn your job every single week in how you prepare, how you perform, play your ass off for your future in this organization, okay, and for opportunities outside of this organization. Put good shit on tape, and good things will end up happening for you. I promise you. Here we go. One's worked harder than two-time All-Pro running back Arian Foster, who spent nearly all of training camp rehabbing after groin surgery. It's just disheartening because you know I put in so much effort this off-season, and um, I was actually in the best shape of my life. I, I still be able to salvage a season out of it. It's not going to be. I'm going to come back for two games. Like I'll be able to play and help, you know, contribute. You okay there? Good. Shit happens, so you just gotta roll with it. There you go. Some belly button up and in. When Foster will return to the field is uncertain. But come opening day, Jadevian Clowney, the NFL's number one draft pick of a year ago, will play. I just hope Clowney can come through, man. 90 and 99. You ain't fucking blocking those guys. Because this is why, right? Mm -hmm. and he's disrupting the shit out of it here, and we can't touch this guy when he comes up and under. I mean, this is like a snapshot of what you're hoping our defense can be. Clowney, who's frickin' mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The guy looks pretty fucking good. Mm -hmm. I mean, I, mm -hmm. To play in the season opener, rookie Lyndon Trail will have to make the team. And right now, it doesn't even look like he'll make the last preseason game. Lyndon Trail looks like he has an acute quad tendon strain. So I would tell you he's probably very iffy he's for Thursday very, night. very iffy for Thursday. Trail, I hope you get healthy. We need to get back. Okay, I'm telling you, you need to do everything in your power 
to get back in there and be out there on Thursday to help us win the game. Okay? You got to take care of your body. Those of you guys that aren't playing in the game, let's support the ones that are. Be Matt, we need you back. We need everybody back. JD, that includes you. So whatever we got to do to start getting in the training room, stealing hours in there, that's what we have to do. Because nothing more important than winning. You got him, Coach? Yeah. Coach Nasty. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. On three. One, two, three. <laughs> go. Go get a treatment room. Mm. Well, good evening, beautiful. Hey, sexy. How you doing? <laughs> You miss me, man? Yes, I do. You better. You ain't got no choice. Where'd Jay go? Right here. So, man, mommy trying to figure out what you're trying to do. Do you want to do jazz or tap? What are you doing, jazz? Uh, I think there's a lot of swing dancing going on. How are you supposed to know what they're going to do in jazz? <laughs> go ahead, say the prayer. The trainers were right. Trail's quad hasn't healed in time. He won't even travel to the last preseason game in Dallas. to the fourth preseason game. Jobs will be won and lost tonight. Bill Bryant said the other day, up to 10 spots still open and available. How you doing? I'm doing good. I'm good. So, um, we're going to play a lot of young guys tonight, so I don't know if they're not going to see any of our guys. I'm going to try to run it a lot, so thank you. Try to get out of here and help me. Thank you. I don't know if the numbers are going to allow him to make this team, but he is beloved by his teammates. I was sitting there talking to my mama yesterday. I was telling her where, where I was last year, where I was this year, like where I'm at this year. No matter, either way it goes. You know what I'm saying? Like, like years away from where I was last year. You'll be fine, brother. Trust me, you'll be fine.
Here's Courtney Brown's training camp in a nutshell. Two step 